And here I am on the other side of where I was last late summer fall. That's Newton and the platform they made. Here's the Charles River. And here's the remains of a trestle bridge that looks like it's got some problems. And this is the Bay Colony. My aim today is to get down to Newton to meet him at Heights, where this becomes an active commuter rail line again. And there's the Charles heading upstream. It's the earliest inkling of spring. Snowpack is fairly low, and this is a section that bicycle advocates would like to see made into a working bikeway into Newton. We're on the Needham side now. There's some old Rail Relic sign. I'm about to cross an old railroad bridge that is slated to be demoed because the Massachusetts Department of Transportation wants to widen the highway. I thought that that would be underway already, but it looks like it's still in the marking phases. Because I haven't seen any transportation department notices about the work schedule. an active graffiti art scene. They're picking the back side of this industrial building. It's like they set up a couple of basketball groups for the employees.
There's 128. Now it's busy missing. There's a cable tie for the huge TV antenna. Oh, look, there's another human up on this thing. Some pretty imaginative work, I suppose. I wonder what it means. There's a little more on this side. Makes our soundtrack. See, these are surveyor marks indicating work area demarcations. Plenty of juniper, I see. It's one of your basic period utilitarian bridges. little bits of graffiti here. Lots of rusting rail. A lot of rivets used on these things. There's another century's notion of sturdiness. Some band graffiti, I think, but I'm not sure. A 
body count. I'm an old guy, I don't understand anything anymore. Made by the American Bridge Company in 1932. Looks like it's stood the test of time pretty well. Yeah, this graffiti looks more like their china wax poetic. It isn't your usual designs.